the forensic entomology consultant for Las Vegas Metro Crime Lab. I'm the go-to guy when it comes to maggots. <laughs> then that is, not only am I the consultant, but it's written into their, into their manual mm -hmm. that if you find bugs, you will contact Dr. Neil Haskell of St. Joseph's College. Yeah, this viewpoint light. This with a male, uh, this would have a bunch of big ocelli at the top of the compound eyes, and then below it, it kind of like by, like a third or a half down, and it's got the small ones. So it's very distinctive. So no, this is. So what we've got the students doing right now is uh, going through collections of this this uh, late summer, early fall. Uh, because we were doing intensive, uh, 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 we were doing intensive collections uh, on a regular basis on multiple carcasses, and uh, there's a possibility that we have this uh, particular species in our in our uh, uh, captures uh, for this fall. They're checking. They're checking their their. These are the live. These are the live flies. Live maggots they collected eggs and maggots, and now they're checking to see at, at what stage they are. Oh, okay. And then eventually these will hatch out as adults. And so we can we, we do that so that we can make a positive identification of the species. The reason the reason we need to see if we have this species in there is that we're, this uh, girl in, um, in, uh, in Annapolis is getting ready to put out a publication. And so if we have it, we want to make sure that we get our record in that publication also. Uh, because that, that will be the furthest north that this species has been found. If I knew everything there was to know about the bugs, I'd do something else. But we'll never know. I mean, we just scratched the tip of the iceberg. And so <clears throat> we're going to, you know, we, we just have so much to learn. And, and of course, I want to pass it on to, to folks like, like Kenton and, and others. Um, and and, I, and I'll never, ever, ever get the answers to all my questions. And that's unfortunate, but we've got a lot. We got a lot to do. Now, ask me the question, like a defense attorney did, Dr. Haskell. You may be able to do cases that are 30 days old or 60 days old, and he'd never do this. He didn't know the answer to the next question. Uh, Tell me what your oldest case is. I'm told. I would be very happy to tell you what my oldest case is. And I determined that they probably died between June and September, but most likely June, July. I also uh, concluded that that um, uh, they had to have remained above the ground for four or five days because of the amount of, of uh, uh, larvae that we had in the cranial vaults. And uh, so the guy goes, that doesn't sound like it's saying too much about the case. I said, well, I didn't think we were doing too bad considering uh, we carbon dated them and these folks died around 750 AD and this is the first documented homicide in North America. And of course the jury go, oh my, you know, <laughs> no further questions. The wonder is smart folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think it.